Hi, I'm Dr. Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. This video is about Eliquis, or Apixaban. Apixaban is an anticoagulant medicine. It decreases the chance of blood clots forming in your body. Its main use is for preventing stroke and atrial fibrillation, and it decreases the chance of stroke by about 50% in this setting. It was developed as an alternative to warfarin, or Coumadin, which for many years was the only medical option for decreasing the chance of stroke in atrial fibrillation. It has important advantages. It has a fixed dose, so the dose doesn't change as it does with warfarin. It doesn't require frequent blood testing like warfarin does, which patients usually get blood tests every two to four weeks while they're on it forever. Well, when a person's on apixaban, I'll check a blood test on them every six months or so to see uh, that they don't have anemia and that their kidney function hasn't changed. So it's a lot less testing than warfarin. A real big advantage also is that you can eat whatever you want when you take a Pixaban. It doesn't change the level of the medication in your body. Uh, whereas with warfarin, if you were to, for example, have a lot of salad for a few days in a row, that would make the warfarin level very low and ineffective for preventing strokes temporarily. So you can eat whatever you want when you take Eliquis without changing the effect. Some disadvantages of the medication, obviously, cost. It's much more expensive than warfarin. Uh, insurance plans have variable coverage, so the only way to know how much it would cost for you would be to go to the pharmacy and ask them, basically. Certainly, you can save money on the copays for the blood tests, but overall, the cost of the medication usually is much higher for a person as compared to warfarin. Another disadvantage is that currently we don't have an antidote for Eliquis, uh, although shortly, hopefully, we will, because if there, a person has bleeding with Eliquis uh, and they go to the hospital, generally we just wait for the bleeding to stop or try to take care of the bleeding uh, by doing a procedure, but we can't stop the effect of the Eliquis. Whereas with warfarin, there's an antidote and you can be given that antidote and the effect of the warfarin is stopped immediately. In any event, uh, hopefully over the next months to a year, we will have an antidote for Eliquis. The main side effect that I see for my patients is minimal nuisance type bleeding that doesn't require stoppage of the medication, easy bruising, but it doesn't really seem to cause much in the way of other side effects in my experience, like stomach ache or headache or whatever. Uh, it doesn't seem to cause much of that. People uh, generally feel well while they're taking Eliquis. So while Eliquis can cause major bleeding, for sure, 3% of people get it per year, it decreases the chance of stroke a lot. The average person with atrial fibrillation has a stroke risk of somewhere around 10% per year. If they take the Eliquis, then the risk is somewhere around 4 to 5% per year. This is a major decrease in the chance of stroke. It really adds up over time. So over 10 years, that would be a 40 to 50% decrease in the absolute risk for stroke, and that makes it worth it to tolerate the potential side effect for major bleeding. A stroke is an irreversible thing. It causes permanent damage to the brain, and the person's permanently affected. There's no going back on a stroke. Whereas with major bleeding, generally that can be treated, the problem solved, and then the person goes on without any major ill effect from having had the bleeding. So while major bleeding does happen with apixaban quite frequently, it's, uh, in my opinion, worth it to tolerate that risk because it decreases the chance for a stroke so much. And now, a special note from our sponsor. Actually, there is no sponsor. I'm not paid by anybody to make this video, and I have no financial interest in Eliquis. Overall, I find apixaban to be a very useful medication, and I have many patients for whom I prescribe it with the purpose of decreasing the chance of stroke in atrial fibrillation. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content and visit my website, cardiogage.com, for a personalized assessment of your heart health.